Why is it that everyone is moving to Las Vegas? I don't know. Could it possibly be that almost the entire country is experiencing an Arctic blast while we are enjoying clear skies and temperatures in the 70s? Hello again, everyone. I'm Bob Hamrick, Chairman and CEO of Coldwell Banker Premier Realty. Welcome to the November issue of the Monthly Minute Market Update for Southern Nevada. And after the stats, I'll share a few more reasons why Las Vegas continues to attract residents from near and far. But first, October's flow to four sale homes reduced slightly from September, while new listings were consistent with the previous month. Open escrows were down slightly from September, yet were almost 17% ahead of last October, and closed sales surged both against last month and last year's numbers. The median sales price was off a tad, yet remains a healthy 4.9% up from last year, while the average days on the market increased slightly from last month, but it is taking almost 40% longer to sell this year versus last. While it is apparent that all indicators are not skyrocketing, the Southern Nevada economy in general, and real estate in specific, are both quite healthy. And one of those softening indicators is actually credited for our housing resurgence, as the Las Vegas Review Journal recently reported that Las Vegas sharp drop in home price growth could spur more sales. The article described how the rampant price appreciation of 2017 and 18 was pricing buyers out of the market as their salaries were not keeping up. But now the slower price growth with a drop in interest rates bodes well for buyers by making homes more affordable. Southern Nevada has also become the unintended benefactor of the unfortunate endless challenges facing our neighboring state to the west. As the Wall Street Journal recently released an article headed, Blackouts, Fires, High Gas Prices, Who Wants to Live in California Today? The article describes the hardships residents are experiencing and how many are choosing to flee the state for a less volatile environment. A similar article written by Curbed describes in greater detail the now labeled Californication and the top cities benefiting as Phoenix, Seattle, Las Vegas, New York City, and Portland. A state researcher declared there's been a rush of retirees and near retirees making the move to neighboring low-tax states such as Arizona and Nevada. And a former Southern Californian said, compared to California, Las Vegas was a no-brainer. I needed to move to where my retirement check was tax-free. The article closed by saying Vegas, which is a close afternoon jaunt back to Southern California, also offers plentiful sun, lots of activities for seniors, and the same single-family homestyle subdivisions that retirees had back home. And finally, one of the areas of our valley that is experiencing the most growth is Henderson, Nevada's St. Rose Corridor where developers have planned over 36 projects covering over 1,000 acres and featuring nearly 6,900 homes. While this growth has been taking place over the last several years, it certainly has been further fueled by January's groundbreaking of the Raiders' over $75 million practice arena under construction at Executive Airport Drive and St. Rose. Other big projects include a 600,000 square foot Amazon distribution center, a 103 acre mixed use development, a 54 acre retail plaza where a new Costco is located, and a proposed $327 million manufacturing facility on 279 acres sold by the city of Henderson to Haas Automation. A Haas executive said, Henderson is a more affordable place for workers to live, Nevada is a better state for taxation, and the proximity to Haas California headquarters is very convenient. Just wow. With Thanksgiving just around the corner, we are so grateful that you continue to make Coldwell Banker Premier Realty your real estate company of choice. Enjoy your friends and family this holiday, and we'll see you next month for our December edition. Bye-bye.